<sighs> Two weeks in a row, this has to be like a world record for me or something. Work. Okay. Let's get this done. Let's get this done, baby. Woo! Woo! <laughs> so big. Crazy how the very first sin was a woman who ate. She's a mother, and mother fucking ate. Today I decided I wanted to, like, see what the fuck is wrong with me. So, we're taking a personality test, mostly because I cannot afford therapy at this point in my life. Um, late stage capitalism is really just fucking kicking our asses. I often have to ask, like, is this, sh is this shit on? Like, is, is this bitch recording? And I can testify with absolute certainty that it is most likely not recorded, considering I cannot even remember what I ate for breakfast this morning. Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. The first question is, do you make friends regularly? The last friend I made was, was in 2017, so no. I, do, I don't, I, I don't. The second question, complex and novel ideas excite you more than simple and straightforward ones? Um, no. I feel like I need some sort of stability. You usually feel more persuaded by what resonates emotionally with you than by factual arguments. What the fuck does that mean? What the fuck am, what, what does that mean? No. Your living and working spaces are clean and organized. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the thing with work is that I like to leave the place pristine and clean just in case I never go back. I like to leave it ready for the next person to just come in and sit at the desk because let me, let me know about it. But I'm a chill little bird mostly because I don't think anything is that serious. And some things are, but I still cannot register that in my brain. You find the idea of networking or promoting yourself to strangers very daunting. Absolutely 100%. I could not care less if somebody is interested in what I do or, <laughs> or I couldn't care less in even trying to make them interested in what I do. Like I'd rather just post shit and have them see it eventually and just be like, oh, cool, let's hire this guy. You know, like selling myself for fucking what, bitch? I'm so great. If you can't see that shit, <laughs> y'all lost, baby. That is insane. You prioritize and plan tasks effectively, often completing them well before deadline. I mean, I prioritize and plan tasks. Yes. Will I complete them before deadlines? No. You like using organizing tools like schedules and lists. I write lists. Do I follow them? No. Okay. That's not lie. I'm not crazy. What if I am? Shit. Okay. I do like to use organizing tools like schedules and lists. I like to use them. I don't use them well, but I like to use them. So I'll go there strongly agree. Even a small mistake can cause you to doubt your overall ability and knowledge. Disagree. A small mistake no i don't i don't think i doubt my ability because of mistakes i doubt my abilities because of self-doubt you feel comfortable just walking up to someone okay i'm gonna stop you right there i didn't even finish reading that sentence i don't feel comfortable walking up to nobody ever you feel comfortable walk just walking up to someone you find interesting and striking up a conversation absolutely not 100 percent disagree you often allow the day to unfold with any, without any schedule at all. I used to, but then I got a day job and fucked my life over. So, like, it's impossible to actually do that. Because, well, Monday to Friday is fucking work. And then, on the weekend, you have to prepare for the Monday to Friday work. So, you need to schedule things to prepare. So, no. I can't do that anymore. I would love to do that, though. Just go about the day. willy nilly dilly dally lolly gaggy you rarely you rarely worry about whether you make a good impression on a person you meet 
Agreed. I don't give a shit about people sometimes. I just be like, girl, these people are not in my life in any way, shape, or form. They're non-playable characters. Everybody's just a non-playable character. You enjoy participating in team-based activities? No. Okay, that's a lie. Okay, can I go back? Wait, I can't... I would say... Maybe like a 5 or 3 name. More to disagree. I don't really enjoy that, but I do see the worth in it sometimes. You actively seek out new experiences and knowledge areas to explore. No, I do not seek out new experiences or knowledge areas. I feel like I know enough. I know too much. I've seen too much. You are prone to worrying that things will take a turn for the worst. No, I am very uh, weirdly. Okay, so I have a dark like mindset a lot of the times, but I'm weirdly like optimistic. If that makes sense. Dark optimism is that a thing? I feel like I need to Google that. Let's just say that dark optimism is a thing and I have that. So I am not very prone to worrying about things taking a turn for the worst. I mean the worst? What's the worst that can happen really? You enjoy solitary hobbies or activities more than group ones. Absolutely. Like there are things that you cannot do by yourself. Like I want to vlog sometimes, but I'm like, I don't want to actually hold the camera in front of myself. So if one of my friends would like to like come with me and film me, that'll be fucking great. But I don't have friends like that. The friends that I do have like that are worried about their fucking brand. So, and I'm I'm apparently a controversial character. So you you know yourself, bitch. You cannot imagine yourself writing fictional stories for a living. Agree. I can't see my- like, what does that have to do with anything? <laughs> In disagreements? You don't really have disagreements very often. <laughs> I'm like a chill bill, you know what I mean? You usually wait for others to introduce themselves first at social gathering. Absolutely, 100%. Agree. Oh wait, no. You usually wait for others. Okay, yeah, agree. Your mood can change very quickly. Can my mood change? I don't know. I mean, I guess I saw everybody. I was in neutral for this because I mean, it depends on the fucking. <laughs> it depends on the person. So it depends on the situation, I guess. You're not easily you're not easily swayed by emotional arguments. I actually find emotional arguments to be very annoying. So, <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm not. You enjoy debating ethical dilemmas. I enjoy debating unethical dilemmas. Sure. I just enjoy fucking arguing, I guess. We're only halfway through this. It's, it's been, I've been filming for half an hour. This is mad. You usually prefer to be around others rather than on your own. That is, I disagree with that. I love being by myself. Like, I love being by myself so much that I'm concerned that maybe I will actually never be dating anyone at any point in time. And if so, we will never actually ever be living together. And that scares me because what if I fall? <laughs> I got bad knees and a bad hip. What if I've fallen and I can't get up? Then what? <sighs> oh boy. You become bored and lose interest. Yeah. When facts and feelings conflict, you usually find yourself following your heart. As opposed to what? You can't follow your heart anyway. What the fuck are we talking about here? This, this is... You rarely second guess the choices that you have made. I always second guess... A lot. Well, not... I'm second guessing right now if the answer this fucking question. I'm second guessing if I should even post this fucking video. You avoid making phone calls. Not really. I'm not that kind of millennial. Am I a millennial? Ooh, Ooh that gives me like the ick. You can easily connect with people you just you've just met. Um, it depends. Like if they're really talkative, which is what I like. I like I like, I like talkative people, but not like too talkative, because then you know you're just fucking annoying. But I do like talking to people because, mama, there's nothing going on in here. Like, the lights are on, but no one's at home. 
So the more questions you ask, I mean, I could go through the Rolodex of answers and find answers, but I don't have a Rolodex that contains questions for human connection. So if your plans are interrupted, your top priority is to get back on track as soon as possible. My top priority is to look at the wall and cry. You're not too interested in, in discussing theories of what the world will look like in the future. I... It depends on how far in the future. Like, if it's like 50 years from now, I'm like, okay, maybe I'll be around. 100, 200 years, I really don't give a shit. I don't give a shit. I'm not gonna be here. I'm looking to punch the clock at, like, 65. I'm ready to go. I'm, re I'm not enjoying it right now. Every time I say I want to kick it, and people think I want to hang out, they're actually wrong. I mean, I just want to kick it. As in, the bucket. I want to kick the bucket. I'm ready to go. That is not a cry for help, by the way. When someone thinks highly of you, you wonder how long it will take for them to feel disappointed in you. What? When someone is highly, when someone thinks highly of you, you wonder how long it will take for them to feel disappointed in you. No. I honestly don't think people think about me that much at all. What the fuck is this about? People think people. Okay. I disagree. I disagree with the way you continue to pressure me. <sighs> okay, the last question. You feel confident that things will work out for you. I do feel confident that things will work out for me. Dark optimism! Okay, select your gender. Let's put other. Because I'm not other. I'm actually, I'm really fucking male. I feel like. But I, I don't know why that is even there, but okay. My personality type is logistician. Is that how you say it? Logistician? Yeah. Logisticians are practical and fact-minded individuals whose reliability cannot be doubted. That's not true. My reliability is very much shoddy. 73% introverted. 59% observant. 70% thinking. As opposed to 24% feeling. I think I feel sick. Oh. <laughs> I don't like this. 56% judging as opposed to 44% prospecting. And maybe I answered these questions wrong because I don't think this is me at all. 75% <laughs> as Satan. As opposed to 25% turbulent. Assertive is not a word I would use to describe myself in any way, shape, or form. But, okay. Okay, girl. But that's it. That's... That's me. I am a... Wait. What are the letters? I-S-T-J. I-S-T-J-A. It's introvert thinking, judging, assertive. Type A. Whatever the fuck that means. Well, anyway, <laughs> that was fun or boring. I don't know. It depends on what you think about it. Leave your, leave your, what do you call it? Your opinions. Leave your opinions in the comments. How about that? So, you know, I got to go to bed because I have work in the morning. <laughs> Make sure you like and subscribe. Share, I guess. I don't know. Do people, do people, do people say, say that? Say, share? Do, do, do the things. Do the, do the things. Is this the right side? If I... Yeah. Do the things. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll tell you. Later. Hey, guys. <laughs> that was so fucking fake. 16 personalities. That's the website, by the way, not how much personalities I have.